In ancient age, man was ignorant about science and technology. That was a joyful moment when fire was discovered. Man made indigenous weapons to protect his life. Indigenous wheel was discovered. This discovery did not satisfy the hunger of invention. Speedier transportation was invented. In the present era, scientists get various information of space through satellite technology. During the First World War and immediately after the war, engineering activities took a positive shape in India. Significant number of engineers were graduating from established engineering colleges at a time when significant number of Indian and British engineers were engaged in the country in different capacities for infrastructural development. The Government of India formed an industrial commission under the chairmanship of Sir Thomas Holland, the then Commerce Member of the Government of India. He strongly recommended the establishment of an institution of engineers to play the important role for various developmental activities. On the basis of the recommendation, an organizing committee was proposed for formation of Indian Society of Engineers under the chairmanship of Sir Thomas Holland. The movement gained momentum. The Memorandum of Association, Articles and Bylaws were presented and the name of the society was changed from Indian Society of Engineers to the Institution of Engineers. India. The engineering stalwarts played a significant role in the formation of the Institution of Engineers India, now an ISO 9001-2015 certified organization. Sir Thomas R.J. Ward became the first president of the Institution of Engineers India. The first AGM was chaired by Sir Arun Mukherjee inaugural president of the Institution of Engineers India and performed by His Excellency Lord Shemsford, the then Viceroy and Governor General of India. The institution was formally inaugurated on 23rd February 1921 in the Hall of Asiatic Society of Bengal. On 9th September 1935, Royal Charter was granted to the institution at the court of His Majesty King and Emperor George V. The members of the institution obtained the right to use the title Chartered Engineer after their names. This was an outstanding event in the history of the institution. Foundation stone of IEI headquarters were laid by Mr. Prafulla Chandra Sen, the then Chief Minister of West Bengal in October 19, 1963. After a long journey, the institution constructed a nine-story building, which was formally inaugurated by Dr. Zakir Hussain, the then President of India, on 1st of January 1968. The infrastructure comprising land and buildings all over the country also came up with increased activities and commitment of members all over the country. With the continued growth and activities of the institution, the council felt the necessity of increasing the number of centers all over India. Today, the institution has 32 state centers and 91 local centers, organizing number of technical activities in different engineering divisions all over the year, which include national conventions, all India seminars, workshop, symposia, round table discussions, etc. The institution groups its members into 15 engineering divisions for better performance, namely Agriculture, Architectural, Aerospace, Chemical, Computer, Civil, 
electrical, electronics and telecommunication, environmental, mechanical, metallurgical and materials, mining, marine, production and textile. Further, six autonomous fora and one organ were established with the objective to extend vast resource of knowledge and expertise in framing policies, acts and regulations related to engineering profession. There are six autonomous fora and one organ, namely Rural Development Forum, Sustainable Development Forum, Water Management Forum, National Design and Research Forum, Safety and Quality Forum, National Skill Development Forum, and Engineering Staff College of India. The National Fora address specific areas of interest for all emerging activities of the institution in development of the nation. These activities are further diversified in search of new avenues of service in the context of socially oriented R&D activities. Engineering Staff College of India an autonomous organ of IEI was established in October 1981 at Hyderabad, which is a premium institution of learning in the country. The primary objectives of ESKI are to impart need-based continuing professional development training programs, simultaneously providing consultancy and technical services to the industry, academics and R&D, in all the frontier areas of engineering, science and technology and management fields. The institution serves its overseas members through its six chapters, namely Abu Dhabi, Bahrain, Kuwait, Qatar, Dubai and Nepal, with the objective to sustain synergistic professional relationship to enhance the domain of knowledge to the engineers fraternity overseas. The Institution of Engineers India's international relations and contributions continued to be fostered through its active participation in the activities of various leading global engineering bodies such as World Federation of Engineering Organizations, Federation of Engineering Institutions of South and Central Asia, Federation of Engineering Institutions of Asia and the Pacific, International Professional Engineers Agreement, Federation Internationale du Beton, the Institution of Engineers India has entered into an agreement of cooperation with a number of professional bodies all over the world in the interest of the engineering profession and the fraternity at large in both the countries to promote the development of a closer working relationship with these organizations for mutual benefit of the members of both the organizations and also to promote and enlarge the exchange of technical, scientific and professional knowledge. IEI also grants appropriate certificate of competence to individuals for practicing as professional engineers and to develop the profession of engineering to regulate the profession through a code of ethics. In furtherance of these functions, only a professional engineer either working individually or in an organizational setup would approve designs or drawings or reports or products before these are released for use by the public at large. Such certified engineers will be designated as Professional Engineer or PE. The International Professional Engineers India may receive credit when seeking registration or licensure in the jurisdiction of other members. The first associate membership examination of the institution was held in 1928 with four candidates appearing for the examination. The Institution of Engineers India commenced recognizing different engineering degrees in 1939 with the course of BSc Engineering conducted at the then Punjab University. It is significant to highlight that courses conducted at IIT Kharagpur were accredited by the Institution of Engineers India in 1956 for quality of their engineering courses. The institution continued with the responsibility for granting recognition of degree and diploma level engineering programs of various universities till the formation of AICTE.
The first IEI convocation was held at Ranchi. The convocation was inaugurated by His Excellency Dr. A. R. Kidwai, Governor of Bihar in October 1993. IEI has the capability both in terms of a well-established process framework as well as substantial infrastructure and resources to adapt to contemporary learning environment incorporating digital platforms in the engineering education paradigm as envisioned by the Ministry of HRD. Membership strength of the institution since its inception in 1920 has been steady, reaching more than 2 lakh corporate members and about 1.5 lakh student members. The institution at present offers various grades of membership for example fellow, member, associate member, etc. The institution regularly publishes journals, monographs, books, annual technical volumes, compendiums, annual reports, etc. The first journal of the institution was published in 1921 and first quarterly bulletin in the year 1951. The first issue of supplement to the journal of IEI, Technorama, was published on April 1992. To augment the quality of the journals, the institution has signed the co-publishing agreement with Messrs Springer India Private Limited, New Delhi. Series A Civil, Architectural, Environmental and Agricultural Engineering Series B Electrical Engineering, Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering and Computer Engineering Series C Mechanical, Production, Aerospace and Marine Engineering Series D Metallurgical and Materials and Mining Engineering Series E Chemical and Textile Engineering The vast resource of books, journals and proceedings of different national and international events IEI News IEI Epitome R&D Compendium etc. serve as ready reckoners for the students and working professionals all over the country. Indian Engineering Congress is the premier technical activity of the institution. The first Indian Engineering Congress was held at Calcutta, which was inaugurated by the then Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Rajiv Gandhi, in the year 1987. The Indian Engineering Congress organized annually on a theme divided into various sub-themes is the annual flagship event of the Institution of Engineers India. A culture of r and It has encouraged and sponsored even undergraduate engineering students to push the frontiers of their curriculum and of innovation. This has led, led to the Ministry of Science and Technology conferring the status of a scientific and industrial research organization on the Institution of Engineers. The Institution of Engineers India has introduced number of awards for the students and professionals in research and development in the area of science, engineering and technology to encourage the budding engineering fraternity. The finance department of the institution is concerned with financial planning. The administration department administrates all IEI properties at 126 locations in India, including Eski in Hyderabad and IEI headquarters in Kolkata. System administration section is the IT wing of the institution. Our representative office in New Delhi addresses liaison activities with government, PSUs and others. 
the Institution of Engineers India introduced its library functions almost immediately after its establishment. It improves engineering knowledge significantly in formation of central library. Library conducts workshops, seminars time and again. The council is the highest body of the institution charged with duties of policies and vision of the institution. It meets at regular intervals under leadership of the president. The institution constantly interacts with central and state governments on issues of engineering. It extends its vast resource of knowledge and expertise in framing policies, acts and regulations related to engineering profession. As the Institution of Engineers India moves towards the next century, we aim to make concerted efforts to strengthen the mandate enshrined in Royal Charter for promotion and advancement of science, practice and business of engineering. We are in the process of devising a framework of digital learning which would add value to practicing engineering fraternity through a system of continuous professional development. The Institution of Engineers India has a wide network of professional engineers with its 123 centers and six overseas chapters. The institution has a strong governance structure and with well-defined process in all its endeavors. Through a multitude of professional engagements, the institution constantly strives to create a meaningful platform for networking, sharing of ideas and generating valuable inputs for policymakers. During this journey of nine decades, the institution has already overcome many hurdles and achieved a lot of success. In present era, continuous advancement in the field of science and technology has made the tasks very challenging. The Institution of Engineers India has taken up the challenge firmly and wisely for the development of the society and overall nation building.